Assalamu alaikum, hello viewers. Today we will be studying the course of SOLIDWORKS 2013. Even though this is an older version, these techniques will be fairly applicable in all the newer versions as well. So, today since we are just starting from the beginning, we will be starting from very basic themes and very basic elements so in the initial stages we won't be using too much complex you know features or sketches so we'll be trying to keep it as simple as possible and to give a quick overview or to start with software from the very basics and we'll be approaching in a quite different way we'll not be just discussing the elements, the items, and the applicabilities. Rather, we'll be focusing on something that's applicable around us and using things that we may see around us and design them in this feature, in these softwares as well. And we'll be uploading some other videos on some other CAD features like SketchUp's or AutoCADs and we'll try to simulate things and might, might just explain some physical applications and the physics behind the things that it may encounter so let's start here we go we just start a new part and every single soil was documents everything carried every cat software needs specifically the 2D design at the initial stage and that's how we model things in engineering aspects and furthermore we mod modify things upwards to make some 3D features or something like that so since this is parametric design software we need to specify to turn something into 3D we need a 2D geometry that's enclosed because for a 3D geometry SOLIDWORKS usually takes a 2D enclosed area and adds some other third dimensions thickness or anything like height, thickness, radius, anything and that's how SOLIDWORKS turns 2D into a 3D product it's a very versatile one and various features can be done various works and even things can be 3d printed in directly from this software so let's head a start we'll be using some basic setups and might just fragment things in shorter terms in order to understand and be useful as much as possible this site you are watching at the moment is the design area here we just make some sketches and we might study motions as well from other motion other options there as well so first of all we'll just make it to the sketch of simple sketches let's make a house then today like hut and we just sketch on the top plane things are really simple out here and you might just be used to it something like SketchUp or something AutoCAD in these 3D models they are sketches also simple as well but this thing is more versatile than SketchUp so I will be recommending for 3D models to use SOLIDWORKS from my opinion you might just be used to or might just be more comfortable with other CAD softwares as well so we'll just take a rectangle we'll not be discussing the basics of geometry since we will just be focusing on the CAD simulations and the physics around not the mathematical calculations so we just take a 2d rectangle and you might just add dimensions out here in the right section but it's more you know solid and more straightforward if we add dimensions separately and that 
helps to define fully define SOLIDWORKS your geometry and if you just define defined it from the left hand side it wouldn't be fully defined by SOLIDWORKS so maybe just we'll define a rectangle and another thing to mention this unit is system new system is based upon SI system where the units are in meter kilograms and seconds and you may change things right in the right bottom from anyone you choose it's meter kilograms the SI system centimeters grams millimeters IPS inch pound seconds things that you might define and even you may edit document units so in the initial as I'm used to with this MK system I will be going for the MKS as SI international standard at the moment so we'll just use the units and even in some cases when dimensions are really big don't get frustrated at the initial stage like if I you know just say it's kind of 15 meters you see uh, things just get disappeared because in the standard system this is the origin and it's the zero zero point in the two, two coordinate system and this is the relative magnitude shown by the SOLIDWORKS geometry interface and to be precise it will just do things like do, do things that like that and even if it's too much big and just modify it to show you 150 meters a sim similar thing but it wouldn't be so easy but that's why you may s use this feature zoom to fit you may use the shortcut hotkey using F I'll just click it right here and it will zoom to fit the entire sketch to a position that you could visualize the entire sketch so just for the moment turn back to the practical thing and SOLIDWORKS will just actually make the dimensions of that long and we'll just change this and up to the point that when you see your sketch blue the area that's blue is not fully defined and the area is black that means that they are fully defined that the points on this these two vertices are yet blue because we can just drag them the part that you have fixed that the bl this black line you cannot move them okay? you just cannot move them see so we'll just dimension it now it's 1.4 the magnitude measure the origin zero zero we'll just make it uh, around 25 meters long and again Zoom to fit or F. Alright, move them a little further. You may choose any plane or any particular area. We will be showing the derived planes may also be used, and these three are the basic 3D coordinate planes. These are formed by X, Y, and Z axes. For the moment, you may change anything. Like, if these are the relations, the sketch relations that are irritating you, you may just turn them off. By right here, sketch relations, turning this thing off, and they are just gone. You may choose which ones to show and which ones not to show. That way, you just use some versatilities and use your own choices, preferences, any way you think. So we just this is the basic 2D sketch, and just for simplicity, we're just using this one. And as in, this is a 2D sketch, and all the things are turned black. That means it's fully defined, and it's connected to the origin. You see, the fully defined means you have a particular relation with the origin or any defined geometry of the 
library like origin like a specific plane not a specific plane that's in relation this that will be mentioned in the assembly that is original higher level we will be going through that after a few more after a few more of the tutorials but at the moment we'll just focus on the part that's relating to this origin anything related to origin any relations defined is called fully defined uh, that's not totally defined uh, you may drag things if it was blue it would, be able, it would be able to drag the things that's not fully defined that means it doesn't have a defined connection with the origin that's what it means so in I ought to make it a 3d sketch 3d view or anything we just extrude the boss base it means to add the dimension of the third dimension since it's a 2d sketch we would be adding the third dimension on the other side is a for the case this would be thickness since it's just a cubic in nature in na geometry nature and this is drawn in X and Z plane you might just think you might just have drawn it in YZ YX any of the planes of the tree so let's just add a revol extrude boss base they have various features out here you may just pull it to give some some thickness you may just type it let's type six meters that's it and that would be some kind of standards and even if you wanted to make it in the other direction you might just have pulled it this way and this direction too would have automatically activated otherwise you could just check mark it and type some defined things but at the moment we would leave this unchecked Thin features means that you are adding a thickness in the walls, so it can can could could have been done this way. As to say, um, the wall thickness would be about a feet, as usual things. That means it's twelve inch. Oh, sorry, it's, I beg your pardon. It's about five feet, so five inch long. That means a half feet. In conversion it would have been like 15 centimeters that means 0.15 meters so we'd be adding that dimension in conventional system right this is something that would have been the area and if this thing was an enclosed boss extrude base would have been activated rather if you have just pulled it the sketch it would create a sheet metal or surface we'll be covering those topics later on and since it's just a four boundary enclosed area the thin feature added has just made those walls now this could have been done in a better way or other way whatever you say for this case another thing to be mentioned the thin feature once you do not activate it in the initial stage cannot be redone in the same extrude thing so if we delete it for the time being and you know just add, have added the thing once again without the thin feature we could have modified everything else like this but we cannot do the thin feature once again you see we could change dimension but not the thin feature it's gone we could add dimension in the second direction whatever it is from the sketch blade like it if we had had an offset it would have been a little upper upper from this like two meters you can see the preview and up to the point blind vertex surface up to body midplane these would have been will be discussed in relevant sections of course for the time being we'll just choose this one from the sketch plane and this is blind and for, for the time being we'll be just using it five meters as well and you could have just drafted it like this it's angle 
wherever, however you think. And since this is just a simple house, we'll just close it, uncheck the option, and leave the thing as well.